Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this video and once again participating in Same Six Wednesday. And um, this is the second month for this little collaboration where six of us are taking uh, six items that we sent to each other in order to make something, um, journal page, tag, whatever. Um, so this is the second month and today we are using items sent to us by Barbara Clark and this is the envelope I have not opened it yet as you can see um, I took off the labels where our addresses were so you could look at this pretty envelope that she sent she looks like jelly printed uh, the envelope so I'm gonna go ahead and open it now with you and let's see what she sent so I'm gonna just do it these are the scissors that came out and I'm just gonna open it very carefully off the side here because as you can see I like to use even the envelope as pop if possible which is not part of the six items. Um, just to remind you, last month I did this with what was sent to me. I erroneously said I used all six items. I actually only used five because this was the sixth item and I didn't use it. I just kept it in the pocket. But that's okay. Uh, I like, I'm keeping all my things together so that maybe I can incorporate even things from previous months. But let's see what Barbara sent us. Ooh, okay, is that everything? Oh, whoa, look at that, even a stamp. Oh, okay, Barbara, what do we have here? So, huh, this is interesting. It looks like a Lego, but it's like a little rubber stamp, okay? And this is a little heart stamp. And then let's see some image. This is a, an image from a magazine cool kind of lego i see a theme maybe going on here okay and then this is looks like an image also either from a magazine or a sticker it looks like a sticker okay dare to dream dream out loud a little dream okay it's a nice texture to this i i don't know what it is but that's neat. Some Heidi Swap packaging. Okay, cool. Another um, image. Oh, look, there's a little llama in there. Some toys from a magazine. So these are magazine images. Okay. And so is this. Plant four seeds. One for the worm, one for the crow one to rot and one to grow huh. that's kind of cool all right that's from a calendar okay and then to have or have not interesting image there also from looks like from a magazine and then ooh, this is some tissue that looks like she either printed on or stamped on Maybe print it on. You are loved. You make me smile. Like Valentine theme. And it looks like it's printed on onion paper, maybe. Feels like an onion paper. And it's like bigger than a regular 8.5 by 11. This is actually 12 by. Hold on. 9 by 12. Cool. Maybe deli paper. They may be deli paper in. Ooh, and this is, uh, it feels like it's out, cut out of, like, um, milk carton, no, not carton, but like, you know, the plastic milk containers, that type of um, thickness of plastic. But it looks like it's a, like the template for, uh, box or something let's see this has kind of score lines here so if you do this 
just want to see what it comes. Oh, it, it's like a little pocket. That is interesting. Okay, so that's what it's it's cut up as. But again, we don't have to use that. We can just use the um, the plastic for something. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Is what I'm thinking. Is the tissue paper this plastic piece? The stamps, the magazine images. One, two, three, four, five. The little sticker. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Or maybe six is the packaging. All right. Ooh, super interesting. Okay, so, and then I, for me, I, I, I'll also use this. So you need to use at least three items in, um, you know, as part of the challenge. Three of these six items. So for sure, I know I'm going to use probably one of these magazine pictures. And the sticker, that's two items real easy. The stamp will be really easy. So I think those three will be really easy that to, to use. I might just go ahead and use the, the envelope as a base. Especially since it's got this jelly printed piece on it. Um, I think that's what I will use as my base. At least part of it okay so this I was thinking was like maybe like a signature cover or maybe even uh, maybe even a journal cover I don't know if it's thick enough I'm thinking more to signature cover so I think I am going to you make a page another page out of this so I am going to cut it Cut it apart. I don't know. Maybe just my um, ruler. It's a metal ruler. <laughs> okay, I'm just cutting the envelope open to use as a base. Okay. I've never used my ruler to cut like that, but hey, why not? Okay, and this part has more. I don't know if I'll use that or not. I'm going to pause the video while I just remove the rest of this tape. Don't want to waste your time watching me do that. Okay, I got most of the stickiness out, and I also cut this page to fit inside of this cover. And I think I'm going to fold it in this way. Kept some of the stamping to or postage stamps. Um, so I'll go in here. Uh, um, and let's see, I'm just gonna decorate this uh, paper. Um, Let's see. It doesn't necessarily have to go. The colors actually kind of go. Anyway, I have yellow and blue and stuff in that other one. And I think the red will go really nicely. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> you, me, love... I think I, I like these hearts right here. This one is the more complete one. And I'm going to go around it and... Uh, I'm going to cut around this, and I'll be right back. Oh, I kept going here. Sorry. <laughs> so, I cut out this little heart. I'm just doing a simple collage on this side of the page. And I cut off a little uh, Dare to Dream from this uh, sticker set. And I took out um, some of my ink, and I inked around this piece. I just kind of tore a piece off of that. And I think I'm going to tear around him a little bit, too. Um, I didn't want to tear around the heart because uh, I didn't want to mess it up. I think I want to keep that title there. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just kind of tear around him like this. 
lost that little moon or whatever, but that's okay. And then this, yeah, it's just going to be a simple collage on this part. That's just, ooh, how neat that sticker, um, the back shows through the sticker here. You see that? It's, it's, um, see-through in the back. That is really cool. Hmm. Might want to do something else back here so that it shows through. Let me see. Putting some color on here. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. We are allowed to use other items from our stash and other supplies. That shows through a little bit better. Maybe do I want to go darker? Let's try it dark. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather that. And that extra space up there, I'm okay with. The dream doesn't come up that great, but that's okay. That's okay. So let me ink around this. This is the color I used. And the reason I'm using blue is kind of to match with the previous page. Not that everything's necessarily going to match for every month, because we don't know. <laughs> We don't know what we sent to each other, you know? We don't know if it coordinates or not, but it doesn't matter. Because ultimately, it'll kind of all come together. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down like this on this page. You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and ink this a little bit just with my inks here. Oh, this came right off. I'm going to have to glue it. Um, just with those colors that I just used, maybe just some glue around the page, maybe the edge of like this, and, alright, so I hope you're not too disappointed, this is like just a super simple collage, and this might be all that I do for, for this month, but the thing is that I'm building this little journal, um, with these items and so it's you know I can always add to it once uh, we're done it'll be there for me to add to or or not <laughs> so again we're each doing really whatever we want to with these things so yeah so make sure if you did not visit last month's video uh, that you use the hashtag same six wed for same six wednesday um, we are uploading the third wednesday of each month um, like today's the 15th of july uh, it won't always be the same date but it'll be the third wednesday of the month i kind of like how that came out do I want to add another shade? Let's try it. Add this, a little bit of this shade. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. And then maybe some of this turquoise one. Add a little more green to it. There we go. Now that changes the page a little bit, doesn't it? I, lo I love blue. So, even though these are other um colors all in here and what was sent uh so there's still gonna be lots of blue because i like it and the first page that we started had a lot of blue in it so just putting in some glitter glue behind this sticker come on glue I must not have, there we go. And this does dry clear, so I don't have to worry about behind the letters there. Okay, and for the heart, I think I'm still gonna use glue stick because it's uh, thin paper, kind of like tissue, so. Or did the heart go on top? I think the heart went on top. So I'm just screw this down. 
with glue stick. Glue stick is what I like to use for these images. And then if the corners come up, I can always do that with uh, glitter glue. I like that. There's a little cheap spot out with the heart here, with the red from the heart. Then the little cheeks pop out. And then where's my girl? Well, here she is. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna put him. I was gonna tuck her behind. So, yeah. So let's do that. Oh, is there something in the back? Yeah. Oh, to joy. Huh. So I do apologize if you hear some background noise. It is very late at night. And, um, you know, there's someone sleeping back there. <laughs> so sorry about that. But, ooh, I, I like this. I, li I like something as simple as just inking the background. Wow. Not something I think of doing all the time, but I really like it. So I used the magazine pages one. The heart is two, and the sticker is three. Um, and I made this little spread. Um, and then I still I used the envelope as well. It's just something I like to do. So that's another page, and I still can play with here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and decorate another piece because I love these llamas. Well, the llama. And I went ahead and cut the lamy off of it because it's it was too wide um so i'm thinking i just want to add these here since they have pink in them i thought they went well with the purple so do i want to do this like this and um or did i want to do something like this this won't necessarily be together unless it's the middle i use it as the middle of the signature uh, so maybe let's just do it like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I won't take too long to think of this. Um, see, I feel like they're just floating there. If I do this. Hmm, let me grab another. Um, let me go ahead and. I know this is jelly printed. But let me go ahead and, and add some more color here. Just kind of like a, I'm going to add a little shelf for them to sit on. huh? I mean, they have a shelf, but I just don't want them to be so, look like they're floating so much. Ooh, the green and purple looks really nice, actually. Okay. And, you know, yeah, to me that feels a little bit better. Okay. So let's glue them down. And I'm just putting this on my hand in the air because I don't have a paper handy for me to glue on. So I'm just going to get my hand a glue. That's fine. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I could use the other side of the envelope, but I might actually use that as well. Okay. Da, 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 da. So once again, I apologize if this doesn't seem that creative. I've been, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I haven't really had a lot of time to, to craft. Um, I've done a couple of lives recently, which has really been like my relaxed time. Um, this has been crazy around here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like that. I like that. And then I can always add something up here. Oh, oh, we have to add some hearts. And you know what? Let me try. Hearts don't always have to be red, right? Let me try this light color on top of this purple. Is it going to soak it up? Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see how that comes out. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is a really cute heart, you know, with the like smaller side and still one more. Actually, that's three hearts here. 
This one is kind of in the middle. Let's do a couple more. I like that. I love those hearts. For some reason, I want to outline them though. Let me see. Oh, I have a blue Sharpie here. I don't know if it's going to work on top of this. Yeah. So it's just blue Sharpie. You know, your regular office Sharpie. Seems to work okay on top of this ink or um, and the paint, whatever this paint is. And let's see. Yeah, I like that. There we go. So that's four items I've used. One of the stamps. Oh, you know what? I even want to use that Lego. Which, I'm calling it a Lego. It looks like a Lego to me, but it's rubbery. So I'm wondering if it is a stamp. Or, or what Barbara, she's going to have to tell us. So make sure you visit everybody else's video. And of course Barbara's and maybe she'll talk about, you know, what the things are that she sent. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And then this one down here, usually you like to put odd numbers or three things together, but I think this one down here is separate. It seems separate to me, so, but I'm still outlining it. I like that. Okay, so this, yes, maybe a little bit of this. Oh, how about this little light green? Look at that, it matches. It's the same green almost. Let's see some dots there oh yeah kind of it's looking very mixed media huh which is something that i'm very very new to very 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 new to mixed media i'm not it has not been my thing most of my life <laughs> but this is so fun Gosh, Barbara, thank you. And then this, of course, is things that I can use as part of my stash from now on because it's so fun. And so I did this page and then this page. Again, I'm thinking they might not end up being in the same, um, you know, spread. Or they may. I don't know. You know they still kind of work together. But I want to put more of these hearts over here. I want to do something different here. Let me see. Can I use another... Maybe I can put the kid here too. No, I don't know. I don't no, I don't think I want to do that. Maybe another heart. It's not really red in here. Okay, not necessarily. Not necessarily her. Maybe a little piece of this. This is very slick. But I like that black and white. Why not? Let's just cut off that black and white piece. And it's kind of slick. Doesn't really fit down here. Oh. Maybe I should have put it under them. I was just thinking just staple it up here. Like a top tuck. Let's do that. Oops. There. It's so stapled up there like a little top tuck. Oh, you know what? He can just be like a little tag. I want to glue him. I'll glue him on this other piece. Maybe I'll double up this piece of um, envelope. Because you know how it's. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I just layered uh, two two layers of the envelope, the other side of the envelope together, and I'm just going to glue him down here, and he'll be a little tag, and I'll just tuck it up under that tuck spot that I just did. Okay, do this. And you know what? Earlier today, I did some little edges with just some paper, and I'm thinking I might want to use those here. Where do I have them? Here we go. Just basically using my little edging scissors, um, I cut up some edges, and I, I'm liking them. Might as well use them. Did some with craft paper too. I like the craft paper for this little boy here. Let's do that. Okay. Down here. Okay. And do I want to do it here? Yeah. Or do I want to do it up here? I think I want to do it there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. If you hear that noise, oh my goodness. It's a good thing my husband doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> okay. There we go. And of course, tag. I always like the quarter round. It's more like a journaling card. And um, where's those stickers? Okay. Dream out loud. Okay, dream big. A little dream come true. Dare to dream. Chase your dreams. Follow your dreams. I think follow your dreams works out good. Here. Follow your dream. Okay. And let me just put some of this color back here. left on this stamp here. Some more on this paper down a little bit too. I like it. All right. And then the back is, could be for writing on, right? Okay, let's stick, follow your dreams up here. Oh my goodness, that's really loud. I'm sure you can hear that. Oh boy. All right, let me finish up here. <laughs> okay. Follow your dreams. Do I want it on there? Oh, look at that. No, let's just put it up here. I don't know, you can't really read it too, too well, but it can be kind of like a secret message, I suppose. Or maybe I'll put, maybe I'll leave it in with the uh, background like that. Oh, I kind of like it like that. All kind of skewy. And then I'll just glue it down. I think I'll have to use the art glitter glue for this. I left it on, on, I left my little pin out, okay. Gotta have one of those little hearts on here, like really, you know, so cute. Oh, doesn't show up. I'd have to define it there. Came out with like a little shadow because I did it twice. That's okay. Let's do it like this.
Okay. There. Okay, so this is what I came up with this time around. I didn't use this little plastic thing. I think I might actually make the little container and use it. Um, it won't be part of this journal, but um, I think I'm going to actually just use it. So thank you for that, Barbara. And my staple, this is not a good staple sometimes. Um, let me just grab a regular staple. Okay. So, do this again. There we go. Okay. That's better. And then this is just going to tuck up in here like that. There we go. And then I'm going to add this to last month's piece. I'm going to tuck it in here. Oh, look at that. It actually goes nicely together. And you know what? Um, why not? I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more color to last month's piece. With, uh, so it kind of flows together a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, why not? It's my little journal, right? So, let's do that. I like this lighter color, too. Nothing fancy. I guess I could use stencils, too, but I kind of like this random smudgy effect okay there we go so that is page two and I haven't done anything to this that's okay I can leave that alone for another time um, I'm gonna leave it at this for now so thank you so much for watching make sure you visit everyone's video there's six of us so just five more to watch and um, I'm sure they'll come up with with much more amazing <laughs> things than uh, this but I'm happy having played with these little items for uh, a couple of page spreads here. All right, and then I'm going to leave it. I think I'll leave it here on this spread. And uh, thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.